Fairview Fitness Center, open 24 seven with staffed hours available every day. Fairview Fitness Center, serving our community for over 30 years. Push your fitness further with our gym facilities, fitness classes, freestyle areas, and more. Join today and see the benefits of a healthy life. All new members are provided with a complete health assessment upon request, and new members are provided with a fitness orientation to familiarize themselves with exercise equipment, all by one of our staff exercise physiologists. For more information, call 353-1900. Visit us at 200 Industrial Boulevard behind Fairview Hospital or log on to fairviewfitness.com. Dublin Lawrence County Development Authority will host the Georgia Department of Economic Development Board of Directors meeting here on November 27 and 28, 2018, which is a Tuesday and Wednesday. And we'll start at 2 o'clock p.m. at the McGrath King Conference Center on Bellevue. And the first hour will be devoted to what our community means to us and what we support and how we support what the State Board has assisted us in our economic de development growth and plans for our community. The second hour will be devoted to what the state has been accomplishing statewide and what to expect moving forward. You know, Georgia's been designated as the number one state to do business in the U.S. for the last five years. And let me say, I think number six is right around the corner. So that's something we in the community and the state should be proud of. Uh, the meeting will adjourn properly at 4.30 p.m. A dinner reception for the board and staff will be held that Tuesday night. And also on Wednesday morning, they will tour our industry sites and the community by bus. And uh, our theme for the occasion being green and growing with a touch of ours. And if y'all don't mind, when I get through, I want you to tell me if we can upgrade that is something you would prefer because this is part of our community. Now I'll say a quick word about the background of the board. They're all appointed by the governor. We have 14 congressional districts in Georgia. One comes from each district. I represent the 12th. We have 11 directors at large and there are nine advisors to the board. So you see we have a pretty good board. And let me tell you, the pay is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's composed of uh, 200 plus employees, has a $35 million budget. Our chairman is Jay Neely with Gulfstream out of Savannah. And let me tell you, if you want running a business and want to know how to run a tight ship, you should go to Gulfstream and follow them for a day or two. They'll teach you a thing or two. Employees, they're on time, there are no drugs, and they work. Her being late is separation, so they comply. And at the moment, they've got 11,000 plus employees. So I think that says something for Gustream. Uh, our current commissioner is Pat Wilson, and he's been with the board, I think it's 21 years now. Uh, the local board in our local county and cities had worked very closely with the state board to accomplish what has been best for our economic future in the area. We have available industrial sites ready for our development, either large or small, small that needs a tenant. But the state board covers all areas of economic growth, whether it be in the movie industry, arts, tour area, tourism, or many other areas. And, and I'll say this along that line. It's only common sense if you want to play, you must have skin in the game. And I think that's the way State Economic Board looks on what's going on. So we need to keep that in mind as we go forward. Uh, at the present, Brian won a plus, and I'm going to give him a plus. Our current county tax rate is by far the lowest in any of the 17 counties in the region. 
our Lawrence County tax rate is 7.185 mills, with the highest being 19.6 mills. So I think that's something the county ought to be proud of. The overall average of the 17 counties is roughly 12 mills. It doesn't, and I'll say this along that same line, it doesn't matter which part of the state I'm in, the state board will always address, if you want economic success, more particularly outside the metro area, go to Dublin and Lawrence County. They are moving forward, always. Th that is a major plus for us. One additional area I mentioned, the state board would like to incentivize a movement in the rural region of Georgia in a joint effort way. This is something our community should take the lead in, it seems to me. I'm sure our state commissioner will possibly address this at the meeting. <clears throat> we need your support and attendance on the 27th and the 28th. Please come if possible, at least for part of the time if you can't come always. It's show and tell time, I think, from our community's standpoint. It's been uh, about 10 years since the state board's been here, and they rotate through the state, so I think it'd be good if uh, we had a good attendance, good participation. We may need some contributions, and we sure need support. Uh, I have the pleasure of announcing the pre-legislative breakfast preview 2019 with our Senator uh, Larry Walker and State Representative Matt Hatchett. I got it. <laughs> uh, so very important information. Um, please save the date, November 28th, it's Wednesday, 8 o'clock. The location will be at the McGrath Keene South Conference Center. The uh, registration is $25 per person, but for members, $10 discount. So you should expect to receive an email from Cindy about no later than the um, 14th of November. Please, I hope everyone will attend. This is extremely important. If you're looking for a new home, look no further than Century 21 Durden Cornegay, where you'll find beautiful homes like this one at 959 Pine Hill Road, listed for $147.5. Agent Jay Brantley invites you to come see this well-maintained brick home. Three bedroom, two bath, in excellent condition with a large carport in the back of the home. It's moving ready, a great location in our county schools. Or right, look at this home at 301 Regency Circle for $139.9 in the city of Dublin, listed by Agent Yvonne Robertson. This home is a new roof, new HVAC, endless possibilities. It's close to shopping and a motivated seller. This home has a spacious foyer, formal dining room, great room with a masonry fireplace. It has a large kitchen, huge sunroom off the breakfast room, three bedrooms, nice front porch, has a deck on the rear, and a beautifully wooded private creekside lot. The seller says bring offers. Arthur's home at 741 Highway 338, listed at 135. In the Northwest Lawrence School District, Pam Tillery is the agent and it's move-in ready. Completely renovated, this updated brick ranch style home sits on one acre in Northwestern Lawrence County and you'll feel like you're entering a brand new home. New flooring throughout, fresh paint, new kitchen counters and appliances, updated bathrooms with new vanities, shower units and toilets. Great open floor plan with a large family room room that opens to the kitchen and dining area. Three bedroom, two full baths. Outdoors, the home has a private patio area with built-in grill, brand new metal roof, nice yard and landscaping. Or see this home at 1203 King Edwards Drive, listed at 135. In the city of Dublin, Benny Helton is the agent and he invites you to see this three bedroom, two bath home with dining and formal living room, family room with wood burning fireplace. The kitchen has cooktop and wall oven, large utility room with laundry tub, a beautiful sunroom and so much more. See these and other homes by calling Century 21 today at 272-1535. Log on to C21Dublin.com. Century 21 Durden Cornegate, broker George Durden. I have the honor of introducing our speaker this morning. Uh, he really doesn't need an introduction. Darren's very familiar to everyone here. Uh, Darren began his insurance career as an agent in 1991. In 1999, he and Marcus partnered together to form Clements and Keene Insurance. He has been recognized among his peers in the industry at having received several presidents, clubs, and chairman council awards. He's been a member of the Dublin Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors, serving as a professional development chair 
and executive board member. He's a member of the Dublin Exchange Club and is an active member of the Dublin Lawrence County Chamber of Commerce. He's a member of church and communities, married to the former Marla Clements. They have one son who's in their first year of law school at the University of Georgia, and a daughter who's currently a junior at UGA. So help me welcome Mr. Darren King. One thing I want to do my best to separate here, I'm talking on behalf of the chamber. I've got my chamber name tag on right now. But in my pocket, I've got Clements and King name tag. <laughs> so when I'm talking to you, I'm representing the chamber this morning. If I slip up, and I say, we can do this for you, or give us a call, please forgive me. Because what I'm talking to you about today is a plan that could be sold to you by any licensed agent in Georgia who is appointed with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia. So I want to get that out of the way first, and, and we'll move ahead. So um, what do we want our insurance to do? Regardless of what kind it is, whether it's um, house, car insurance, health insurance, life insurance, we need it to be affordable and we need it to pay our claims. That's it. Okay, so I'm trying to simplify. You're going to see a lot of stuff up here and we're going to go through this just to be compliant and we're going to leave more time for question and answer because I'll probably be more effective if we take questions than I answer them. But we want it to be affordable and we want it to pay our claims. So the type of insurance we'll talk about today is group health insurance, group medical insurance. So a group plan is for you as an employer, you offer that insurance to your employees and you come together and you form a group based on your business under your tax ID number. But in that group, it's a promise between you and your employees that you are going to pay a portion of that premium. Now a lot of people use that to attract employees and retain good employees but it is a promise between you and your employee and you, you're required to pay part of the premium and uh, usually it's 50% of the employee only premium. So getting that out of the way, we'll talk about the Chamber SMART plan. Um, I'll tell you what SMART means. It, it's an acronym for Small Group Multi-Employer ASO Rated Trust. Uh, I don't want to get bogged down on that because it's just a group health insurance plan. And we already know what group is. We talked about that. Okay, so why the SMART plan? The SMART plan is a collaboration between the Georgia Chamber of Commerce as well as each member of the Chamber of Commerce. And Heath told me yesterday, if you're a member of the local Chamber of Commerce, Dublin Lawrence Chamber of Commerce, you are a member of the Georgia Chamber of Commerce. So we're trying to bring large numbers together as chamber members and use that to leverage and get better rates for your employees and yourself. Uh, as we do that, this particular segment is for the two to 50 market, okay? So it's for small businesses uh, with a minimum of two employees on the group, but you can't have more than 50 total full-time employees employed. So it's for the two to 50 market. Um, it does require a minimum of two people to be enrolled. Uh, unfortunately on this, there's no husband and wife groups. Uh, I, we service several husband and wife groups through Blue Cross, but on this particular platform, there will not be any husband and wife groups. Uh, husband and wife can be on there as an employee spouse, but Blue Cross is asking you to insure one more employee that works for you, either 1099 or W-2. Okay, talking about the off January renewal, um, most everybody in here is going to be busy for the next two months, it, and for some people it's your busiest time of the year. Uh, you don't need to be sitting down with people like me and talking about deductibles and premiums and rate increases. You need to be selling and, and finishing out your year strong. So what we're trying to do is move the renewal to April the 1st. Um, so if you sign up for this plan and we can begin writing this plan November the 15th, um, your effective date would be January the 1st. If you get in that early, you will actually have a 15-month contract because your renewal date will be April of 2020. So you're actually going to be locked in, and, and the rates are locked in for 12 months. So if you got in in January, it'd be a 15-month lock on your rate, so that's a good, good thing. Also, it takes all this stuff going on and 
uh, November and December looking at health insurance. It is guaranteed issue, uh, guaranteed renewable, so uh, they, they do have to issue the plan and they can't cancel on you based on your claims. Uh, they can rate you up. The, the prices can increase it at renewal time, but they cannot cancel or, or do away with your coverage. Um, you are protected by a large pool, which is the Chamber of Commerce, thousands of members in the Georgia Chamber. Uh, so we're, we're using that number to leverage and try to get better rates. Uh, also, and we'll talk about this in a minute, uh, medical, dental, vision, life and disability is also available. How does this work? Let's talk about bringing people together. Um, so it's small groups, two to 50, all coming together. And um, this is the uh, Georgia Chamber Federation. But as a member of the Lawrence County, uh, Dublin Lawrence County Chamber, you're a member of the Georgia Chamber Federation. Then they're going to the carrier, which is Anthem Blue Cross, and they've got a third party administrator, Consoliplex, to handle compliance and administration. So you really don't have to worry about this. These are the people who's gonna be paying your claims and making sure that everything's taken care of on that end. Who can participate? Um, you must be a chamber member in good standing. So whether you're in good standing, that's between you and Heath. <laughs> All right? But you, you do have to be in good standing and a member. If you're not a member and you get a price and you like it and you want to participate, you do have to become a member. So that's when you'd call the chamber and talk to them. We can quote it for, uh, you can be quoted for this without being a member but you cannot purchase it until you become a member. Um, once again, two to 50 employee market segment has to be domiciled in Georgia. You can have employees in other states, but your brick and mortar building has to be domiciled in Georgia. Uh, also, they won't use a PO box. You do have to have a physical address. We're here today at Bank of Dudley to discuss business loans. So many businesses and industries trust the Bank of Dudley for a variety of financing alternatives to suit your specific needs, from short-term loans to help with cash flow, loans to purchase equipment or facilities. At Bank of Dudley, we have commercial mortgage loans, capital improvement loans for construction or renovation. We can help with your business vehicle loans or for a small business line of credit. In other words, Bank of Dudley has your business covered. No matter what it is, you can trust the lenders at the Bank of Dudley with five convenient locations, East Dublin, Downtown Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, Dudley, and Jeffersonville. The Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. All right, so keeping the insurance affordable and claims paying. So they're gonna offer 19 plan designs. So what happens here is if you're young and invincible and you want to keep your pre monthly premium down, you may choose to have a higher deductible. The deductible is the amount of money that you're required to pay as an insured before you get help from the insurance company. So uh, if I'm young and I'm invincible, um, I might choose a $5,000 deductible to save money on premium. If you're old as I am and you got health problems, you might want to go with a $1,000 deductible and pay a little more money each month so that catastrophe's uh, gonna happen to me before it will a 20-year-old probably. The network we use is Blue Open Access Point of Service. That POS stands for Point of Service. Maybe not what you're thinking, it's Point of Service. That is the good Blue Cross network. There are some networks <clears throat> that, you know, Blue Cross has different networks. You got Pathway, you got PPO, you got HMO, Point of service, 97% of doctors, clinics, and health providers take the Blue Cross POS. Also, we'll offer three plans with health savings accounts. Uh, I won't get into health savings accounts now. If you want to talk to me after the meeting, we will, but it's a form of using tax-deductible money to pay your claims. Uh, it helps you out at tax time. Uh, does require a high-deductible plan, so it saves you money on your premium. Okay, in addition to the health portion, like we said, uh, you will get special pricing on dental, vision, life, and disability. So that can be packaged in with the health insurance. Um, it will be on one card for the insured. So if you did medical, health, dental, life, vision, everything will be on one card. 
Uh, for the employer, you'll get two bills. Health insurance will be on one bill. Specialty products will be on another. If you already have a Blue Cross small group, at your renewal, Blue Cross will run this SMART plan for you. And if it is a better fit for you, pricing and in some other areas, they will mail you the pricing for the SMART plan along with your renewal. So you can have it side by side and your agent can go over it with you. So if you're already got a, a, a Blue Cross group plan and those numbers look good on the SMART plan and you're not a chamber member, you need to call Heath because that's, that's, that's the kicker here. So we do have to be chamber members. Quoting has already started. Um, we're, we're trying to quote it. Blue Cross is uh, uh, getting it started. I'll put it that way. But, but we can get you some quotes. Not sure what the turnaround time is right now, but the way it's set up, we're supposed to be able to, you are supposed to be able to purchase this November the 15th, where you could write a check if you like the rates that you saw but the plan will not go into effect until January 1. Um, now, you can purchase this any time of the year. This is open enrollment and everybody has in their mind that this is the only time you can do health insurance. Uh, as a business, you can purchase any in insurance any month of the year. So if January 1 is a busy time, you may want to look at July. You know, if you need it now, go ahead and do it now. But this is not the only time that you can do it. 